Hey guys! Okay, so today I have a drugstore haul for you. I went to the drugstore a few days ago and I wasn't really expecting to get much at all and then I ended up coming out with a bag full of stuff, which I feel like always happens when I go to the drugstore and probably always happens to you guys if you are makeup addicts like me. Or I should really say beauty addicts because I've been falling for a lot of hair products recently, but I actually did get quite a few makeup products this time at the drugstore as well, so I'm just going to hop right on into it and show you guys what I got. Okay, so the drugstore that I normally go to, if you guys have watched my videos, I'm sure you know, it's called Harmons, and I know they don't have them all over the United States or all over the world. They're pretty much just like a CVS or a Rite Aid, but prior to very recently, they didn't sell e.l.f. products at Harmon, but now they have started selling e.l.f. products, and when I saw them, I was like, oh my god, thank god, because before, I used to have to go to the drugstore for my regular makeup, drugstore products, and then I would go to Target to get e.l.f. products because they didn't sell e.l.f products there. But now they do, so I did get a few e.l.f. products. The first thing that I got is this e.l.f. Corrective Color Everything Concealer. So this is a yellow based concealer, if you guys can see. So this is like their basics concealer. Um, I think it is um, a thicker concealer. Obviously I haven't used it yet. It's still in here, so I don't know that much about it, but I got the yellow toned one. It's a corrective concealer, so I would apply this probably under my foundation. Uh, and just kind of conceal my redness. The yellow tone is better for people with a little bit of a darker skin tone, where the green tone is better for people with a fair skin tone. So I did get the yellow one. I have a bunch of products like this, but a lot of them are high-end, so I wanted to try this out because it was $2, and see that if it was comparable to any of the high-end products that I have, most are from MAC, and see if this was comparable to them because I would much rather spend $2 as opposed to like $22 on something from MAC. So very excited to give this a try. The next thing that I picked up from e.l.f. was this e.l.f. eyebrow kit and I got it in the color medium. You guys know that I absolutely love and adore my Whitening Lightning Brow Bar to go. Recently I have been using that and mixing in a little bit of a darker eyeshadow, um, but that eyeshadow is from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. It's like the matte brown, the dark brown in that palette. Um, I forget what the name is, but I've been mixing that in with my brow bar to go just to make my brows a little bit darker, but I really like that shadow and it's a really expensive shadow, so I wanted to get something kind of from the drugstore that to see if it compared, and I've heard great things about this little kit, so I decided to go ahead and give it a try. It's like a tiny little compact. It has a mirror and a little brush in there and then has a gel and a powder. So I was like, you know what, can't go wrong. So I did get it in the color medium, which I hope will be okay. They did have a blonde one, I think, but I thought it was too light, so I didn't get it. So we will see how I like this. I'll definitely let you guys know if I do end up liking it. And then the last thing that I got from e.l.f. is this little lip, I guess it's like a gloss. Um, well, actually, no, it's a lipstick. This is called their Luscious Liquid Lipstick. So it's like a liquid lipstick. It's supposed to be very, very pigmented. I think I saw a review on this, which is why I ended up picking it up. I got it in the color Pink Lemonade, so it's kind of like a darker pink color. It's really, really pretty. So I'm very excited to try this. I don't have any other lipstick or lip gloss like this, and I've never really tried a liquid lipstick before. So I'm excited to give this a try and see how I like it. And like I said, all of e.l.f. products are under $3. I think this one was actually a dollar or maybe $2. So very inexpensive. So I'm very excited to give this a try and see how I like it. I picked up a foundation. You guys know that I am a full coverage foundation girl. I just like full coverage foundation. I think if you're going to go and you're going to wear a foundation, wear full coverage, have that flawless face and, you know, own that rather than like, I'll either wear, I have like two extremes. Like I'll either wear no makeup at all or full coverage, like I don't ever have anything in between. So I wanted to try, maybe see if I found a lighter coverage foundation that I liked, which I've never found before. But I saw this, and this is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Oil-Free Foundation. So I saw this, there was like a huge display of them at the drugstore, and it said new and everything. I love the CoverGirl 3-in-1, so I know that I do like CoverGirl foundation. So I decided to give this a try to see how I like it. I believe that this is kind of less of a thick coverage. Um, this is not as full coverage as the CoverGirl 3-in-1, which is why I tried it. It says back here, one simple step for a flawless natural look. The formula blends evenly into an even skin tone and reduces shine all day. Oil-free, won't clog pores. Suitable for sensitive skin, lasts all day. So it's supposed to be long wearing, but I don't think it's supposed to be as thick as the 3-in-1. So hopefully I like this. I got this in the color 210. Um, the one thing that I did realize about this is that there's not a big color range. And I don't know if it was just that the store that I was shopping at didn't have all the colors, but there was literally like maybe five colors, which I thought was very strange for a foundation because normally, you know, with tinted moisturizers, there's only like five or so colors, but with foundation, normally there's a lot more. So 
Um, I'll have to see. Maybe this is more like a tinted moisturizer. I really don't know anything about this. I haven't seen any reviews on it, but obviously I will do a review on it if that's something that you guys like. I typically tend to review every foundation that I try. Next, I picked up a lipstick, and this is a Revlon lipstick. And I mean, I'll be honest, I'm not crazy about the Revlon packaging. Like when I saw this, it kind of reminds me of like my grandma or something. Like, I don't know, I feel like she has Revlon lipsticks. Um, but the color on this lipstick was just so, so pretty. It's the color Pink Cloud, and it's just a very, very pretty color. Let me swatch it for you guys. It's very sheer, but great for summer. Um, it's just kind of a shimmery, light pink color. It's very glossy. Um, maybe if you guys see it in here, it'll do it more justice, but it's really, honestly, very pretty, and I did put it on my lips the other day, and I actually really did like it. It's definitely not a very highly pigmented lipstick or anything like that, so if that's something that you're looking for, this is not that, and it's not really that long-lasting either, but the color is really, really pretty, and I don't have a lip stick that is quite this pink and this, like, glossy. Um, I have a lipstick that's a similar color, but it's a matte, like, completely matte, so this one is kind of glossy. So, all in all, I really do like it, and it's a very, very pretty color, but I wish Revlon would get kind of nicer packaging than this just kind of plain black with the gold. Then, lastly, I did pick up two hair items, and if you guys didn't realize already, my hair is back to fully blonde. I did stop the ombre. I liked the ombre. It was nice for a change, but I got over it. Um, so now I'm back to fully blonde, and I did get my bangs cut back, which I've had I had like all my life and then like the last year I like started to grow them out and now I got them back. So I like them. Um, it was good to go back to them but it was nice to have a change from it for a while. But into the hair products that I got, the first thing that I got was actually a recommendation from a friend and that is this Shimmer Lights shampoo. So my friend has brown hair naturally, she dyes it blonde and she has well water at her house. And apparently well water can make your hair very, very brassy, which I didn't realize I have city water at my house. I don't have well water, so I've never had that issue, but her hairstylist recommended that she use this. Um, and it's basically a purple shampoo, which a purple shampoo is just basically made to take brassiness out of blonde hair or really any kind of hair because a lot of times blondes can turn a little bit yellow, especially in the summertime and stuff like that. So I decided to give it a try. I'm not going to be using this every single time I wash my hair. I know she uses it every time she washes her hair. She swears by it. Um, I'm not going to do it every time I wash my hair, maybe once a week or so. Um, this is like a deep, dark purple shampoo though. Like literally it's like this color. Like it is extremely dark because I tried hers once and I was like, oh my God. But um, apparently she really, really loves it and thinks that it does wonders for her hair and keeps her hair not brassy at all. So I decided to give it a try. It was very inexpensive. I believe it's like $5. And it's from the brand Clairol Professional. So normally their stuff is like expensive. So I was happy about that. And yeah, I'm excited to give it a try. So I did get the shampoo and then I did pick up the conditioner as well. So haven't tried either of them, so I cannot speak to them. I'm very, very picky about conditioners. I'm not that picky about shampoos. So we will see if I like the conditioner. I probably will like the shampoo just because I tend to like not really care. But I am interested to see if this kind of takes out any yellowness or brassy orangeness from my hair. I really just got my hair done, so I don't really have that at all right now, but eventually, you know, the longer you get in between colors, you may get that, especially in the summer with it being so dry and everything. So that's why I decided to get these. And I, like I said, I'll probably use them about once a week. I wouldn't recommend using a purple shampoo every single day unless your hair is really, really brassy because I think if you use it every day, it can do the opposite. I believe that I did hear that in a video, I think from like Blair or something. Um, I don't know. Somebody said it. I think Juicy Star 07 said that in one of her videos. Or no, Elle, her sister. I don't know. I don't remember. Somebody said it, so I don't think I'm going to use it every single day, but I will use it maybe once a week or so on my hair. So enough rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is all that I got in my haul. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please be sure to like it and subscribe if you did enjoy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Bye.